think it was three days after the uh, uh, incident that I, I went under the knife. So um, I think that was four weeks ago. So three and a half weeks now since surgery. For the first two weeks, I was pretty restricted on um, any of my movements. Just generally walking around was, was a bonus. Um, but after that initial two week block, it was, it was um, fast tracked pretty quickly and I could get into strengthening my hamstrings um, and my quads and I was lucky enough to do a run for the first time today. Just losing all the muscle around your quad and, and hamstrings is probably um, new to me. So just having that being so weak and having to build that back up is, is something that I haven't experienced before, but it's been good and, and we've got great physios and, and great programs, so um, I feel pretty strong and it's good to be where it's at. I think Sam was pretty lucky. Uh, you know, the initial uh, insult looked like he probably ruptured his ACL, but um, it's uh, much less significant than that. In fact, his ACL is 100% fine, so uh, he was Pretty close to missing a year, but um, no, he's, he's dodged a bullet. Well, the next goal is probably to do agility. So at the moment, I've just done some straight line running, um, and then I'm, I'm hoping to do that for another um, probably a week or so, and then um, hopefully get into some agility. Because at the moment, I've, I've just had surgery. I'm just kind of getting back into it. It's still pretty new in the exercises I'm doing, so as far it sounds funny, but it's still exciting to take those steps. And I think once you get into your, your solid running, your solid bike, your solid weights, and then you've still got three weeks so you can play. I think that's when it gets really lonely. But at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy just to, to be here and to be, to be doing anything, so.